Our Steve Leesman here with the numbers. Steve, what did it show? Hey, good morning, Sarah. Yeah, the recent run-up in the market has boosted concern among our respondents that stocks are overvalued for a soft landing scenario, and it comes with more hawkish views on the outlook for Fed rate policy. Here's the outlook you can see for the end of the year, they're actually averaging a number, the 29 respondents, it's below the current level, and then a kind of paltry 2.9% return over 2025, up to just 55 21. But this group has traditionally been pessimistic on stocks and pretty much wrong about it, even though they're pretty good on interest rates. Here's the outlook for rates. Ten years seen coming down from the current level, about 20 basis points. Unclear what happens, actually, to the uh, yield curve there. But the 10 years seen relaxing a little bit this year and touch more next year. The probability of a soft landing, about 50 percent around where it's been, while the probability of recession at 31 percent. That's the lowest level we've seen since early 2022. How about the expectations for the Fed? 46% probability on a rate cut in September, 62% on a rate cut in December. Both are down from the May survey, and both are a bit below the market pricing. 501 is the average for year end. Um, and then the QT, your ending QT, that's now March 2025, pushed ahead three months by our respondents. Uh, it had been January 2025. Uh, what are the biggest risks? Well, inflation is number one, but kind of paradoxically, the Fed cutting rates too late is number two. Presidential elections seem offering some downside risk, and of course, fiscal deficits in the number four spot. Hugh Johnson, chairman and chief economist uh, for Hugh Johnson Economics, writing in, it would appear as though the members of the FOMC are holding to a higher for longer approach to interest rate policy and could easily hold interest rates too high for too long. The risk of mis mistakes remains somewhat High. So while the forecasts for the Fed have turned somewhat more hawkish, the concern about the Fed being too late have risen, which adds to risk in a market facing uncertainty. And uh, Sarah, we asked folks about whether or not uh, they think it was a good idea to lower rates because real rates have, have gone up because inflation's come down. And most say not, even though that was the same rationale used by uh, uh, Christine Lagarde for her recent rate cut, along with Several Fed officials had said that a couple months ago, but you don't hear that so much anymore.